Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and this is part two of the hospital rummage sale haul. This is all of the little miniatures, holiday items, crafting items. This was $1.50. These are glass bats and I do believe that the back part may have broke off because it's got like some type of sticky glue possibly but it's put back on well and I plan on adding some things to this so it doesn't matter to me I mean it doesn't even look that bad I just thought that those bats were really fun and I picked up a lot of Halloween things and pumpkins and uh, yeah I don't know if I do a lot to it or do a little bit to it but I thought it was worth picking up for future crafting possibilities lots of minis in these little vintage package packages. I believe this was like Frank's maybe sold at Frank's with that flower. A quarter for a little broom. I think that is a girly candle. Um, even though it doesn't have the base, pretty sure I've seen that one before. It looks in pretty good shape, kind of like a scarecrow pumpkin head. Uh, two magnets. They had all different styles. They were 75 cents each. But you couldn't really tell anything because the sticker was over this part, but it looks like they say 1989 and the brand is Wings. So I picked up the two jack-o'-lanterns. 50 cents for a set of three brooms. Quarter for this flocked pumpkin. And then lots of miniature pumpkins. These are pretty heavy. I guess they're plaster maybe, or they were in molds and then painted. So that package, and then this package. These are smaller. I think that one is wood. But I just added the one pumpkin I had to that little angel that I was repairing, and I thought, oh, maybe some more would be nice, or I could definitely make a pumpkin patch with these. More pumpkins. Uh, these are plastic. 75 cents. So a nice variety. This bag was 75 cents. Let's dig in. So there are some of these on this pick. And this is what happens to them sometimes. So it looks like it's like an almost like an enamel on top of some styrofoam. That one's okay. So you could take those apart. Some wooden pumpkins. A little piece of a broken necklace or bracelet. Some more flocked ones. This little bag of plastic stuff for a quarter. These were a quarter each. My mom asked me to pick up Halloween cards, so I just got them all. There were six. That one's cute. That one. These say Current, you know, the brand Current. That's Susie. Susie Zoo. That says Lucy Rig. Um, and this bag that was a dollar. And this, I know, has some vintage pieces in there. A little wreath. Another broom and a little flock to bear. I believe you would use that to sponge paint. And then I think it's got two witch spun heads that are like blue. So these are definitely made in Japan. One and two. A wire tree and I have this on a sculpture that I'm sending to Pam so as I'm selling that one I've got another wire tree that I could do something with some neon orange trim flocked black cat that's missing a little flocking and then these which you can easily paint these if you wanted to tone them down and make them look more natural I believe that is all the Halloween and fall that I found. 
Now for some other holidays. A nativity scene, girly, one dollar. So Joseph and Mary, probably, probably Joseph, little baby Jesus, and two little lambs. This little mouse was a dollar. It says Proud Papa Mouse Village. It's a Joseph Originals. Got the Japan tag. It doesn't seem to be broken. It's got the sticker there. This little pixie was 50 cents. Nice shape, clean. And then these packages of deer. How much? 50 cents. Let's pull them out. So these that look like moose or deers with horn, or I guess there's a variety in there. Then these cute, cute, cute little deer. And then these. Oh my goodness, they're adorable. A little bit of Easter. It's handmade for a dollar. So this is so much fun opening up these bags, seeing what's in there. So look at these. These might be napkin rings. place cards so that says Harvey and then it's just pinned on so we're missing a little eye but the rest are there that's cute if you had one of those felt boards you could put these on there and then that looks like it was a template that's very sweet Ooh, some St. Patrick's Day get the other bag too these bags were a dollar each, and they have these made in Japan, uh, I don't know, party favors or decorations. I've come across them before. I have a few, but not two bags full. And some have their little made in Japan tag wrapped around it. Japan. And it's like this glossy thread, could be even silk, on the wire that makes a little shamrock. And then that says Japan on the ceramic pipe. Oh, look how cute. And their hats, ceramic hats. Let's lay all those out. On the price tag, it did say 28. And yep, there's 28 of them in there, which means there's another 28 in there. So almost 50 of these little craft pieces. And now the miniatures. They were such a good price. A quarter. Oh, that looks like it's from Woolworth. And that looks like little copper utensils for the kitchen. Or whatever. 75 cents for um, some chairs and a little furniture. This seed box with seed packets was a quarter and they're selling their seeds for a nickel. We've got some plates or chargers for a quarter. This little brown grocery bag with a baguette and I don't know, maybe a wooden spoon and a little fabric um, dish towel. Cast iron pot. Take these things out so you can see. Oh, a little speckled one. I used to have blue dishes like that for my dollhouse. Little Dutch oven. Some plastic swans for a quarter. And then a little 1975 Christmas plate, which I wonder if that date on their age is this to 1975 or they just picked a random date. Three photo mats for a dollar and they look older. It says Hartley Studios Chicago. Let's cut these. <laughs> so 
I've seen cabinet cards like this, but I don't think that I've seen photo mats. So, I mean, you can put any pictures you want in here. Oh, or you know what? These are reproductions. <laughs> That's what these are. No wonder I haven't seen them before. All right, well, that was... You can see that the bag is very dirty, so it made it look older. So cool, though. One last crafty item. I paid $1 for this Jewelette rhinestone setter. And it doesn't look like it's ever been used. It looks like there's two tools. And then in here, the little prongs and the flat rhinestones. And it seems like it might be easy, which like would be so cool to add rhinestones to anything. So I'm trying to see if I have a piece of fabric around here to test it on. I got this fabric to test it on because it already has these rhinestones with that prong on the back. The only thing is you have to do it on a sturdy surface and this part of the desk is, not, well, I guess I could do it there then. That was absolutely as easy as could be. I am so glad that I spent that dollar because I looked at it and I thought, is this something that I would really use? Like, is it all there? How easy or hard is it gonna be? Uh, that was like the easiest thing I've ever done. So happy I got it. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in another video. Bye.